Hi, this is Russell Davis for ESCToday.com with uh, this year's Eurovision Song Contest winners, Ella and Nikki. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. So, what brings you to London? Oh. Uh, we're uh, celebrating Azerbaijani 20 years of independence, you know, anniversary. Yes. And we're in the beautiful um, Central Hall building in Westminster. It's a special occasion here. Yes, it's so beautiful over here. And it's really yeah. nice to be over here. And a lot of our friends are here as well. And um, so maybe you can see the beautifulness of the building because a lot of people, you know, but we've been the, here two, uh, two hours before. We had a rehearsal. The hall is great. Everything is, the reception is, is, is really, really great, you know, and feel, you feel the history of, of your country, of your freedom. And of course, you're part of history now for Azerbaijan. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> big celebrities now, a big honor for you to actually win. Yeah. Um, how does it feel that they're actually constructing a brand new building just because of you two guys in Baku? <laughs> what can we feel? Of course, we, we're very proud of ourselves and yes, we're very proud we're of our proud country. Of, you, know, you know what we've done, and you know it's great. We are number one over there now, and also is there all these new buildings and uh, all these changes in, in Baku? What's going on now? It's, you know, when you're looking at that and you understand that it's because of yeah, our, we say, you know, we say like, our oh my victory. gosh, oh, is that because of us? Is that <laughs> <laughs> do they do yeah. it because of us? You know, it's, it's to become it's really, a part really of history of your country is really. So I guess Eurovision has been life-changing for you, is that true? Of course. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. We're just traveling a lot, we see a lot of people in the world, we're making it's a friendship. It's a movie star so now. Long. Oh, tell me yeah. about that. Okay, I'm playing uh, to, you know, in the love story. It's kind of Azerbaijani Romeo and Juliet. Um, it will be released uh, next Juliet year. Juliet is Nikki, I presume. No, 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 no. no. I'm his grandma. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um, a young girl, 16 years old girl from Moscow. It's a Azerbaijani Russian film. Uh, it's going to be released next year, I think, in March or in April. So, hopefully. Okay, so we can see it. You revision in Baku and you're moving in Baku at the same time. Of course. Nice. Yeah. I think they have an idea. Yeah. Um, are you recording an album? We're still waiting to hear more tracks from you guys. I'm waiting for him. He's still in the movie. Whenever I'm phoning him up, I'm just like, sorry, I can't speak to you now. Yeah, I'm, I'm really busy with the movie, you know, but I promise that we're gonna we're gonna make some tracks after it. Uh, we're just still searching uh, for a nice and for good uh, tracks that won't be uh, worth than uh, running scared. It should be uh, m more m more beautiful. It should be yes. really really great so song uh, after. after running scared is gonna be running happy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like that. And running Nikki. brave. <laughs> and Nikki, you're looking wonderful. Thank you. Very very. I think even you may have lost some weight since your revision. You've been <laughs> exercising hard, maybe I don't know. No, no, no. The secret of um, looking good, is skinny. That what that you mean? <laughs> um, how, your life is still in London, I guess. Yes, yes. I mean, I still live in London, but because we're traveling a lot, and I think the secret is because we're flying too much all the time in airplanes, spending the time, and I don't like uh, airplane food. <laughs> I think that's my diet. Yeah, that's it. So I, I guess you've been all around Europe since uh, winning Eurovision. Yes. Yeah. So as anywhere you haven't been, I guess it's, it's you've been everywhere. Okay. It's the first time in, I'm in London. Oh, well, I haven't seen I haven't seen anything uh, till that moment because you know it's several hours I came. But I hope you know Nikki promised me to make a travel to make a um, you know uh, travel uh, the whole. Yeah, I promised him to show London. I promised him to take him to Westfield for shopping. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make a shopping tomorrow. Westfield is great. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she told me that. Yeah. And that's why we're, we're going yes. tomorrow. And oh, for for yeah. Westfield, probably you need a couple of days. It's one day is not enough. Yes, <laughs> and of course, there are going to be, because of you two guys, there's going to be quite a few thousand people going to Baku in May. Yeah. Um, what can you recommend? Wow. What's the best thing about Baku? Best thing? I mean, um, Definitely, it should be warm, definitely, because at that time, I mean, it's going to be really warm weather and it's right next to the sea. Yeah, take more t-shirts, you know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and shorts. How is the Azeri wine? 
It's very wine. Oh, we've got all different type of wines, the beers. I mean, no, I'm depends. gonna tell about it, you know, because yeah. I, I really, I really love wine. You love the wine. Yeah, I, uh, I prefer Azerbaijani wine because it's it, it is really tasty. I love it. I love it very much, and that's why I my advice to you: just when you come to Azerbaijan, uh, try to drink it. You you you'll like it. And how's the nightlife in Baku? Um, actually, I I'm. I'm sure you will love it because it's really bright in the night time as well as in all different no. lights. And He's asking about nightlife in Baku. Oh, you know? <laughs> oh, but not... just how it looks outside it, you know? I don't know. Yeah, we're playing a love story. We're not. We're not living a li nightlife, you know, in Baku. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, right. we, that's we have very, no idea. That's very obvious. By the way. <laughs> um, I need to ask you, how did you feel that night when you won the contest? How? What? How were you feeling? Crazy. You crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Could you believe what was happening to you crazy. at the time? Um, Actually, I didn't, no. I didn't what is it? How would you feel when you actually won your revision of the night? I mean, I, I don't know. It was how, how he said it. It was crazy because oh, you know sorry. you're too excited, and uh, yeah. I was so tight close sorry. to the end because I was screaming a lot. You know, I was too excited. You know, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still excited about that. Still, you know, every time I'm going on internet on YouTube, I'm looking at you know, I'm trying to find new videos. You know, which was made by you know people who was in it. It's, it's amazing. Um, guys, thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to London. Thank you very much. And uh, guys, um, give a message finally for ESC Today readers. A message to your fans. Guys, Hi. dear ESC Today. Y yes, and it's Nikki and L. And we're waiting for you in Baku next year.